Today, we're doing the 80 and under rebuild challenge. Once they hit 81, they have to be traded or we gotta let them walk in free agency. They can't stay on the team anymore. So with that being said, if you missed yesterday's video, top right hand corner, it was the New York Mets offseason rebuild. We created a super pitching staff, like probably the best we've ever done. On top of that, our lineup offensively was really good. Go give it a watch. It was a lot of fun. So in the description, all my social media links, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you guys can give me, send me a tweet, send me a DM. If you guys have any questions about franchise or anything like that, I'm pretty quick to respond to you guys. Go down below, give them a follow. Also, if you guys need tickets, any sporting events, concerts, anything like that, and you guys want $20 off, use the code AntOrtiz at checkout at SeatGeek. AntOrtiz is the code, you get $20 off, and uh, it's a pretty solid deal, $20 off your tickets, go and check it out. So, I think that's it. Let's get into this rebuild. It's gonna be a challenge. Nobody over 80 overall. So we're gonna go with the Orioles because they have a they have a couple glitchy players that I like to pick up. And I figured we don't have to trade for them. A lot of their players are actually under 80 overall as it is. So I think this is a pretty good team to start with. We have three years to do this rebuild. Budgets is on, we have to worry about those. No forced trades. Let's get into it. Obviously manual for everything. Let's take a look at this roster, see what we gotta do. All right, so really the only player that we're not gonna be able to keep hold of is Jonathan VR, which is cool. We'll trade him, not a big deal. Hanser Alberto, 81. That's unfortunate. We gotta get rid of him too. Everybody else is under 80. Um, even Pedro Severino. Like I said, morale boosts don't count. We're gonna stick to their actual overall. So this is a good start. This is a good start. Not really any good for, uh, minor leaguers, but we'll, we'll be okay for now. Let's take a look at the, the team. The starting lineup is good, um, or the starting rotation is good. Our pitching staff, Michael Gibbons, is the only one that's over 80. And then, um, yeah, I like it. I, I think this is the right team to pick. Everybody else is kind of in a good spot. We have a lot of lefties. I'm going to change that for the bullpen for sure. And then... We need a new second baseman. I have one in mind already. I think it's going to be a good pickup. All right, so we did a two-year deal. I think that's a good one. Um, you can see he's a 79. Two-year deal with the club option. So if he ends up being over 80, we can just decline the option. Uh, there's a couple other players I'm looking at. Maybe we got Rio Ruiz, who's okay, but maybe like a Christian Villanueva. He's not a bad little pickup. Sometimes glitchy, sometimes not. And then when we look at the outfield, mm, nobody really... Maybe Nicky Delmonico. We've actually picked him up. He's been kind of a, a kind of a glitch. Who's? Uh, do we need him actually? Trey Mancini and Wright, Dwight Smith. You know what? Just just as maybe a, like a backup, just in case things go wrong, we'll pick him up. Dylan Cousins as trade bait in the future. If we need to pick up someone good, I'll do that for sure. Let's do that. And then Nicky Delmonico possibly will be a good pickup for us too. Roster is full, stop. Okay, Alex Cobb, I just don't want the contract because I want to be able to move some players if need be. I also want to be able to sign players. We're going to trade his horrible contract, which is like a three-year deal for Trevor Cahill's one. He's a 79 overall, boom, new starting pitcher. Michael Givens, Hanser Alberto, and Hunter Cervanka are going to get us Robel Garcia, who's 74, and then two relief pitchers in David Phelps and then Derek Holland. I know it's another lefty, I'm trying to avoid that, but it's a good little like package for us. Senzatella, Jairo Diaz, and Scott Oberg, all under the 80 rating threshold. It's perfect for us. We're gonna trade Jonathan VR away. And I think that's the last player that we have that's over 80. I'm gonna get the lineup pitching staff set up. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, we got a team assembled. Let's let's take a look at it. But lineup wise, it actually doesn't look terrible. I'm actually a little, a little optimistic. Are we gonna win the division or make the wild card? No, not at all. But we've got a, a couple glitchy players. I think Dwight Smith Jr. might actually be kind of a glitch. Uh, left fielder, he's actually a 74 overall, so I expect him to be here at least a season or two. Richie Martin, probably a player I'll look to trade because his hitting stats are terrible. Jeanette, up to an 81, obviously the morale boost. I think he's only gonna be a one-year player for us, but we'll have to wait and see. Trey Mancini, Trumbo, could hit some bombs, we might see. Robel Garcia, I think could be a glitchy player for us as well. Rio Ruiz, Severino is still, what, 79? He's probably gonna be a one-year player for us as well. And then Steve Wilkerson. On the bench, we got Delmonico, Nunez, and Cisco. Not bad, not bad. We have a uh, like cousins we could trade. Angel Vielma's got some value. We got a couple players we definitely could use in the, in the, um, 
the miners. That's what they're called. So next up, this is what our team's looking like. Means, Cahill, Yanoa, Bundy, Senzatella. Not terrible. Uh, all of them are, you know, mid 70s naturally. So with that morale boost, they're a little bit higher, but I think we're good. Bullpen doesn't look terrible either. Good mix of lefties and righties. We'll see how things go. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's not the best, I know, but to keep everyone under 80, it's a tough challenge. So we'll see how season one goes. All right, I know I said we weren't a playoff team and we wouldn't be contending, but listen, like we actually aren't that bad. So as you guys can see, 76 and 86. That wasn't terrible. I was expecting like maybe 30, 40 wins, but hey, I will take it. It's actually a pretty decent team. So let's take a look. We had, a, we had an award. Hold on. I was a gold glove. I got excited for a sec. Got excited for a sec. So we weren't last. Um, we're ranked 26th. What about the wild card? 13 games out. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Let's take a look at our pitching. John Means is an 80. I hope that means he's like a 78. He's an 80. We might get him for one more year. He didn't have a bad year though. Trevor Cahill kind of sucked. Expected. You know, uh, not that great. Bundy, pretty solid. I like that. And then Senzatella, eh, not great. Derek Holland, not great. Scott, not great. Oberg, okay. I like that. I like to see that. Phelps struggled a bit. Diaz struggled a bit. Gil Martin was really good. Please tell me you're at least, yes, you're still under 80. That's good to see. And Blyer did well. So it looks like we got a good setup and closer there. What about some of these guys here in the minors? Maybe Paul Fry. Maybe Paul Fry's that guy. A little rhyme, you know. That's what I do in my free time. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Santander got called up. I guess we had an extra spot. So Delmonico struggled a lot. Yikes. Nunez, not bad. He's going to develop too. So he's a player that I think we could keep throughout this rebuild. And Chance Cisco wasn't terrible. Wasn't terrible. Dwight Smith Jr., solid. He's up to a 79. I'm expecting him to be like a 77. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Richie Martin was horrible. Scooter Jeanette's an 81. What about this? Ah, he's 81, so we're going to have to decline that option. Trey Mancini is 79. We might get him for one more year. Trumbo was okay. Um, Robel Garcia, eh. Uh, Rio Ruiz, meh. Severino, meh. Steve Wilkerson, not bad. He might be a little bit of a little hidden gem here. He's 27, so I expect him to maybe be about like a mid to high 70 by the time we're done with this. He could be a center fielder that we could keep. Exclusive negotiations. We have to decline this option because he's an 81. David Phelps wasn't good, but he's under 80. Same with Derek Holland. Um, Do I give him another shot? That's the thing. Trumbo wasn't great at all. We still have Chris Davis on the roster. I'm gonna have to let him go. Same with Trevor Cahill. I think we're gonna find other similar options that will be fine. Alrighty, so arbitration, the only one I'm not gonna offer it to is Severino. Um, I think that was it. Yep, uh, contracts, everybody should get one. And then free agency, here's the targets. I have, I'm actually liking our targets. We're going for Phelps just for a season. Jordan Lyles, we're giving a two year deal with that option, just in case, you know, he goes over 80. He actually had a really good year last year. So he could be a little bit of a glitch for us. Jed Jerko, yes, please. He had limited appearances last season, but I feel like maybe a first baseman platoon option, maybe even a starter, he'll be a good little option. Let me make sure I didn't give him, yeah, I gave him a platoon option. Uh, we got this guy just for trade value. This guy doesn't look terrible, really good vision. Maybe a little bit of a beast in the future. Same with this guy. Second baseman, we could use a little bit of depth since we lost uh, Scooter Jeanette. But those are our targets for now. Let's see how second season starts off. So if I told you this team was a playoff team, would you believe me? No, I, I didn't think so either. All right, so cool. Um, so let's let's take a look at this lineup because we, we made a couple changes to the team. Obviously, free agency is going to be a big factor for us. We're, we're also going to make some trades, but let's see what we can do. So for, wait, all these guys were added. Doug McDowell, I mentioned. Actually, we, we signed everybody that I targeted. So John Means is an 80. This is going to be the last year we can keep them. Jordan Lyle, 79. Bundy, 78. Senzatella and Yanoa. The thing is, I don't know if I can trust Yanoa. He did pretty bad last year and his stats don't look that good. I think there's better kind of glitchier pitchers out there. I'm even tempted to try Ty Block, Blatch, Block, whatever his name is, in, you know, with our team. I think they could definitely be some really good options for us. Richard Blyer is going to be our closer. Um, we're going to rock like that. So, Everybody is 
kind of where they need to be. Morale-wise, I don't think we have anybody over 80. I've double-checked. Everybody's kind of okay. Kind of happy with what it is. Again, having everyone under 80 is pretty tough. Dwight Smith Jr.'s morale is bu bumping him up. He's a 77, but I think he's been... He's going to be a good player. We got Mancini, who's, I think, an 80, 79. This might be the last year we get to keep him. Jed Jerko is a 76. Yeah, 76. Renato Nunez is a 75, I believe. So some morale boosts are helping us out. Uh, Robel Garcia is a 76 as well. So I still think we're going to get like one or two more years out of these players. I decided to sign Freddie Galvis just to see how he would do. Um, but I think we, we have a squad that we're still building on. Adley Rutschman's like a season away. This guy could be a little bit of a glitch. That vision being really high is kind of nice. We got Diaz coming up. Rutschman, like I've mentioned. We could definitely make some trades. We have Mullins, who's A potential. Mountcastle, who's A potential. We have a couple pitchers as well. So I'm actually going to make a trade right now. All right, I'm at the A's right now. We're packaging Brooks and Yanoa, two players who probably won't feature. Um, and I'm looking at Daniel Mangden. Had a decent couple outings last year. Or Paul Blackburn. Again, pretty similar in outings, ERA and stuff like that. So I'm like, ooh, do we go with Paul Blackburn? He's a little bit lower rated. Or do we go Mangden, who's a little bit higher rated? Similar attributes and stuff. So you know what? I'm going to go Paul Blackburn. He's a little bit younger as well. So maybe he'll develop a little bit quicker, but at the same time, kind of hold his rating. We're going to do that trade. There's our new starting pitcher. All right, Tanner Scott, who never really does well. His stats are just meh. Uh, he didn't do too well for us last year either. We're going to get Keenan Middleton uh lower like kind of in the middle for pit uh for overall like the mid 70s and this is how we're gonna look i'm gonna let scott Oberg take over there and uh i like the team i like it a lot i think this is pretty solid bullpen looks good lineup's gonna be left the same uh nothing's changed there's the team let's get done with season two so like i said i knew you guys wouldn't believe that we'd be a playoff team and we weren't but baby steps right 82 and 80 so we won seven more games than last year i believe it was seven or six something like that we have another award i'm assuming it's a gold glove we got two gold gloves this time who big steps in the standings we've actually moved up one spot we were 12 and a half games out and in the wild card we actually had the third place spot we were seven games out and we're the 26th ranked team we are bad we're, whoa we are bad indeed. So let's take a look at the team. I'm assuming John Means is way out of our realm of using next year, which is unfortunate. So he's gone. Dylan Bundy is probably a player I'm going to look to trade. He'll have a, a little bit of value. Could get a new one. Paul Blackburn wasn't as good as I would have hoped. He's a 79, but we'll see what happens. Senzatella struggled as well. And Jordan Lyle struggled. So uh, we have to lose our best pitcher. Surprise. Ty Block sucked um we i mean we got a couple guys down here who could potentially help us out but for the most part not looking too promising uh scott oberg was bad which sucks because he was one of our better relievers last year david phelps sucked Jairo diaz getting better okay i like that paul fry a little better okay uh keenan middleton was really good and so was richard blyer is richard blyer an 80 no he's still under that mark so we got we gotta lose a couple players which does suck on the bench nikki del monaco got a lot better okay i like to see that austin wins our backup catcher not too worried about richie martin kind of sucks dwight smith jr what are you rated now 78 you're still part of the squad power numbers are going up renato nunez he's an at least okay i'll take that he's a 76 13 home runs solid Trey Mancini, please be an 80. 82. No. All right, we got to lose Trey Mancini, which is a bummer. Jed Jerko is hitting bombs. And, I mean, he's under that 80 mark. So is Rio Ruiz. He sucks. Probably going to get taken over by Renato Nunez. Maybe move him to third, which might be the, the, the move. Freddy Galvis wasn't as bad as I thought he was going to be. So, maybe bring him back. Chance Sisko wasn't terrible. Steve Wilkerson. Okay. Alrighty, and then Robel Garcia, 18 home runs, 245 average, and a 78 overall. So I know we have a couple players down here who are potentially helpful for us, like McDowell, Diaz, uh, Rutschman. Okay, so we got some names who could come up next season and definitely help us out. Okay, so we, we've got some options in the minor leagues. We're still not a playoff team. I wonder if we can do it next year. All right, we had to let John Means go declined his option jordan lyles declined 
uh, David Phelps, letting go, Freddie Galvis. I'm going to see if there's someone better available. Alrighty, so arbitration, we can't offer Mancini a contract because he's 82 overall. And then John Means is 82 overall, I believe, as well. So we can't offer him a contract. For free agency, these are the offers that I have on the table. Josh Reddick is kind of a glitch. Move him into right field since we are losing Trey Mancini. Derek Dietrich maybe as our second baseman or third baseman. Could be a platoon bat as well. Drew Smiley, we may end up losing a couple pitchers, so... He doesn't look terrible, maybe even out of the bullpen as a long relief arm. I don't know. And then Tony Watson as a lefty that could potentially help us because some of our bullpen arms were pretty bad last year. I'll, I'll even show you some of the bullpens that are available. Not many good ones um, that we can we can even attain. So we'll go with that. So let's start the final season off with the trade. And I think this one's pretty good. When you see it, Reynaldo Lopez does say he's an 83 overall, but morale is boosting him up to that. He's an 80 overall. So we're going to pick him up for David Hess and Grayson Rodriguez. We're going to go for Cal Quantrill. I have a feeling he's going to be a little bit of a beast this year. He's 80 overall. So we're going to go for Valentin, Harvey, and then Dylan Bundy. Chris Lee, Miguel Castro, and Sean Gilmartin are going to go for that, that kind of a glitch we had with the Tigers rebuild, Daniel Stump. Uh, last season was pretty good. I also looked at Amir Garrett, but I'm gonna go with Stump. I have a little, I have a good feeling about this. Leroy Jackson, Richie Martin, and Chris Davis are gonna be traded for Justin Verlander and Atlantis Diaz. I think that might be all the trades. Let me figure out the lineup. This year, I think we could be a playoff team. So let's take a look at our pitching staff. Reynaldo Lopez is an 80, luckily, but he's up to an 83. Cal Quantrill is an 80. A little boost gives him an 82. We got Verlander, who's an 80, but 82 boost. I think he's going to be a little bit of an issue. I had to simulate a couple days because he was actually part of the waivers. So I wanted to trade for him. So I had to simulate. So he did get an outing. Not too good. <laughs> uh, Smiley and then Blackburn. That's our staff. Sensatello is going to be a long reliever. And this is our bullpen. It's... It's interesting. Scott Oberg is an 79. Whew, he's a 79. Alrighty, that's the team. I'm interested to see how things go. We brought in Tony Watson as a lefty. And I'm noticing we have a crazy amount of lefties in the squad. Do I want Tony Watson to be the setup guy? Maybe Blyer? Blyer's been so good for us. How do you do last year again? Pretty good. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. All right, so here's the lineup. We had a couple players that I thought about bringing up. Diaz was one. Just wasn't sure just yet. Mount Castle the same, same way. Not sure. Uh, we have Perez, Wins, Ruiz I sent down. Um... But I think the team we got, Smith is an 80. Ledmus Diaz we just traded for. Derek Dietrich is an 80. He's just got a little bit of a morale boost. I think he's going to be a good bench bat for us or even a starting second baseman. Redick has got a really good boost. I like to see that. Delmonico, Ruiz, or Nunez. Not Ruiz, Nunez. Rutschman's come up. We got Jerko and Wilkerson. I like the team. Doug McDowell, that season one pickup that we got in free agency, is going to join us too. I like this team a lot. Here's the pitching again let's go into it we'll see what happens i'll take a quick look at where we're ranked 26th all right we might not make the playoffs let's see how it goes i i honestly i can't believe it like this is insane i didn't think this was gonna happen 91 and 71 and we made the postseason as a wild card team holy cow i didn't think this was possible seven games out in the division we had the rookie of the year and we had some gold gloves i will take that mvps for the three seasons were trout twice and mookie Betts. bryce harper took it away and then the National League, Cy Young, Freeland, Marquez, and Lester. And then Snell, Cole, and Chris Sale. Uh, we'll take a look at Reliever of the Year, Osuna, Trinan, Osuna. And then we had Carl Edwards Jr., Melanson, and Jansen. And then Rookie of the Year was Cal Quantrill, Darwins, and Hernandez, and Eloy. And then Jazz, Jesus, Sanchez, and then Jordan Alvarez with the Dodgers. Okay, so let's take a look. So... That's a good pitching. That's some. That's a good pitching. That's some good pitching. And then we had Quantrill, who's rookie of the year. Not terrible. I'll take that for sure. Verlander, we'll we'll, we'll move you down a little bit. Paul Blackburn was kind of the same thing, and Drew Smiley wasn't bad. So starting pitching was a little little iffy, but I'll definitely take it. You know, especially since we really didn't have that much better down here. Um, Senzatella, yes, okay. Uh, we have, we might even move like Smiley there and then bring in Senzatella. Jairo Diaz pitched well. Fry pitched well. Stump, I'll take that. Blyer did well. Oberg struggled a bit, so we'll move him out of the setup role. And then Middleton was actually a really solid closer for us. Tony Watson, did you even pitch this year? He wasn't bad. 
Um, obviously, he's dipped a little bit in rating, but we probably needed the extra bat. So let's take a look and see how things went. Diaz would probably be a player we use next year. Same with Mountcastle, but we're going to end it here. So they brought up Chancisco. Yeah, no. Who'd they bring up? Hayes. I think it was Hayes. I mean, in his limited plate appearance, it wasn't bad. Garcia was okay this year. 18 home runs off the bench, though, is not bad. And then McDowell, limited appearances, was okay. Not great. Smith was kind of like a leadoff guy. So 12 home runs, I'll take that. Um, Alenmas Diaz wasn't too bad. 24 home runs, 250 average is meh. 40 home runs for Derek Dietrich. Yes, please. That's why we brought him in. 105 RBIs. Same thing with Josh Reddick. 34 home runs, 92 RBIs. Gotta love it. Delmonico wasn't bad either. It's kind of like our bench DH. 20 home runs, definitely solid. Renato Nunez, 17 home runs, 250 average. Rutschman is okay. He's definitely gonna improve. Jed Jerko, 32 home runs, love it. And then Steve Wilkerson, 22 home runs, 270 average. So to think this team was 26th overall, our best category is speed and that's seventh. The next best is power and that's 14th. We won the wild card with the best record for the wild card. Gotta love it, gotta love it. So who are we taking on? We're taking on the Rays. I'm excited about this one. Let's see how it goes. All right, so before we head into this game, I want you guys to do this challenge yourself. I want you guys to show me what you can do. Tweet me your pictures of your team, everyone under 80 overall, or, you know, obviously morale is cool, but like, I want to see what you guys could do. Let's see how it goes. Man, do we go to the youngster Quantrill for this one off? Do we go to Lopez? Do we go to Verlander? Um, Let's go to... Let's give it to the young guy. Let's give it to Quantrill. Let's hop into it. All right, all right, all right. So they got Fam, Adamus, Meadows. They got Gary Sanchez, Nate Lowe, Brandon Lau, Yandy Diaz, Corey Dickerson, and Kiermaier. Oh man, this is gonna be a good game. That's a good inning. That's a good start. Obviously, we're gonna be going against Blake Snell. Probably should have looked, taken some of the lefties out of the lineup, but I have faith in him. I have faith in him for sure. Strikes out, awesome. Bases loaded, come on, Aledmus Diaz. Uh, no one nothing that is a bummer for sure let's keep going okay that's good can we get it in though we can't why keep going it's only two runs it's not terrible we definitely can come back we just we just got to get the bats going a little bit start taking advantage when we have runners on if we can get runners on you let Gary Sanchez steal the bag. All right, Quantrill. I, I left him in a little bit too long there. I'll, I'll, I didn't even take a look at how our pitching, our, our bullpen went, did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. It was pretty good. Um, but we're down 6 nothing. I probably left him in one batter too long, but maybe a comeback. Maybe a comeback. Maybe not double play that's huge and then we get out of the inning so we got two more innings can we do it please anything for me i would appreciate it let's go to let's go to diaz that's unfortunate Derek dietrich versus the lefty we're gonna we're gonna play the matchups of course they bring of course of course uh whatever he's a switch hitter he gets out out and that's the game so he goes oh man just that one extra hitter. Oh, man. But let's take a look at the lineup one more time. I'm pretty happy with it to think that obviously we're going to lose some players. But, like, Derek Dietrich probably will have to go. Actually, he might go down to, like, an 80 after this year. He could possibly be kept. Josh Reddick, possibly. Renato Nunez, I think, would have to leave. Oh, he's still a 79. You probably could get one more year out of him. Adley Rutschman could get one more year out of him jed jerko probably the same robel garcia you got a team still that you can build a nice little core around pitching is probably a little bit of a question mark you got Quantrill, lopez um and some of these guys probably will start hopping over the 80 mark but i think this was a good challenge guys tweet me your challenge or your pictures of your teams let me know how you guys did we made the playoffs and to be honest i did not expect that at all like at all so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did drop it a like subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section let me know future rebuild challenges or anything you guys want to see i'll catch you on the next video peace